take you over and meet Mike from TNM fixing my steering column for me. Mike. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. All right. So, we just, I started yesterday filming a little bit on doing this, and then I said, no, I, I need to call Mike. Hey, come uh, on in here. It's a lot deeper now. I'll pull it down a little yeah. further. I'll get to the four main bolts down inside. I'll just pull it all the way down to check it over, and then I'm going to go all the way back together right. with it. Yeah. That way we don't have any issues there. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. Those uh, crush sleeves broke, so when they cut it out, we'll, uh, we'll change the crush sleeves. A lot of, a lot of little meticulous parts that's got to be correct. It was probably like that for quite a while. Oh, I'm sure, you yeah. know, a lot of these GM columns get loose like this. It's and just, stay loose. Mm -hmm. And people just keep climbing in. And, yeah, they use it as a, as a handle to get in and yeah. out of these vehicles. Yeah. But you guys need steering column repair. I had him work on, uh, if you guys remember, Big Dummy. Now he's working on Little Big Dummy. He did the steering column in that uh, 57 truck that I had the four wheel drive. So he's going to get this all buttoned up and I get to go and do something else. So get his shirt so they got the phone number and everything. This is one of the tricks on this job right here. You got you got to take the mount loose at the bottom. If not, it won't give you, it will not give you enough slack. Okay. It'll bust the bearings every time. Okay. I had to learn the hard way. Yeah. Well, that's see. I didn't want to learn. I've I've done a couple of these, but nothing in depth like you do. And I did not want to learn the hard way and then have to go and buy a column because buying a column or having it repaired. If I buy one, it's probably going to be broken anyway. Right. So getting it repaired is about the same cost as buying one. So going to keep the vehicle i'd say have it restored yeah if not you know i'm not going to down the junkyard column but a junkyard column it may be loose you might not have a key the right. wiper switch can be different just a few things you got to keep in mind you mind if i set that over there on the seat and no. just let it roll go right ahead talk to it every once in a while and tell it what you're doing. Don't mind me no, I'm just kidding. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look here. This bowl is completely busted. Let me okay. show you something. So now I have to... This one's been loose so long. What it's done is you get in here. I'm going to show you. See how the pin rides at the top? Yes. Look up here. Bam and bam on both corners. Oh, it's yeah. busted all that out. Yep. So... Even if I tighten it down, it's not going to stay. It's not going to be tight because that's going to allow it to move up and down. Okay. Because the two gears ride on each other. Sure. So if you wanted me to, I mean, you can go ahead and shave the bowl now, or I can just I'm going to pull the shaft and everything, and I'm going to fix it and then bring it back and put it back in. Okay. Because it's a lot easier for me at this point. Yep. Versus going back to the shop and getting that one sure. part. I can go ahead and pull it. And, actually clean it up and paint it so but okay I know you don't want it painted at this point because you're gonna turn around and shave that handle off yeah but if you're you're gonna pull all this out then I then I can take this off and I'll shave that handle while you're gone and okay be good to go all right I'll make it where you I'll try to make it where I can hand it to you in your hand okay the hood the hood pop okay okay me cool all right, we got a little more damage in here than initially thought, and like I said before, always expect the unexpected, but the column's broken here as well, so he's gonna take it apart, take it back to his shop and redo it, and then we'll get it put in. So, we'll talk to you later. you can make it out in the video but we've got a crack right here and we've got a crack right on that side so this whole bowl needs to be replaced to do this right um, so we're just gonna have Mike take it and in the meantime I'll be able to pull this off and shave the automatic handle because as you can see we've we've got plenty of shift levers in this truck but he's gonna do a nice job and it'll be it'll be good as new so we'll be back 
All right, Bobby's getting the Mustang taped up. That's going to go in for primer. Finally. Go. Finally. No. That's cool. That'll be a milestone. It's nice. always nice to see him in primer. All right. You feel like you're making progress. Right. And then uh, out here, I'm going to show you what, how far Mike tore down the Chevy truck steering column. Pulled, pulled the whole steering shaft out, going to rebuild everything. There was a lot of broken stuff in there, so it, it's good to get things back up and, and, and fixed correctly, so be able to drive this truck around and not worry about blinkers turning on and horn blowing and all that kind of stuff. We'll get Terry over here, uh, get a windshield for it. we got to paint it while the windshield's out. Probably be a good idea. The truck, as you see, the truck was originally black, um, so I'm going to go with the black inside again um, and outside. So it'll be purdy. Matt's ordering lunch. Um, I guess that'll be it for right now. The 37 Chevy, we're going to put the nose back on it today. Got the brakes all bled out. A new heater hose on it, mounted uh, brackets so nothing moves, nothing can get rubbed or chafed or anything like that. And we're gonna have some lunch on them. We kind of miss Austin having lunch with us, but oh well. Can't have everything. So, we'll talk to you in a few minutes. Are you eating again? Oh gosh. Alright, what you got, Austin? I had a land crusher. Land uh, crusher? Yeah. At Ford Fort, uh, Texas Coast. Let me go in. It's kind of dark. Yeah. Dark in here, okay. Really good? <laughs> All right, Austin, where are we? Japan. Japan at? Disney. Epcot. We're in Japan at Epcot. Epcot. <laughs> what are you eating? Ramen, the uh, tonkusuku or Tonku something? Suku. Okay, so it's like ramen. ramen with pork, is that right? Yeah, pork. All right. Yeah. Pork. Oh, maybe I should have given you a fork here. Yeah. Give him a fork. Yep. <laughs> Hot. Hot. This is good. It's awful. Mm. <laughs> oh, it must be really good. That was the really good face, wasn't it? Okay, so recommend? All right. We ate the pork out of it. Okay. What are you eating, Austin? Uh, the spicy. Hang on. Let me show the. It's called uh, Spicy Good Theory. What is it? All right, there it is. Since we can't say it. That is good. It is good. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Recommend? Yeah. What are you eating, Austin? <laughs> <laughs> is that a fried egg and peanut butter sandwich? Yep, that one is. <laughs> You know, the guys say you always eat. Hmm? The guys say you always eat. Who? Oh my gosh, that was like half a sandwich right there. One bite. Awesome. What did you leave to go find? So they had a porn port mac and cheese. Look at that. Yummy. Yum. Is it good? Yeah. Is that good? 
What is it? Mickey bar. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, Matt, tell us about the latest hurdle with the Chevy. Another one. Yeah. All right, so uh, we already test fitted it in the car uh, with all the new steering components and everything. We, we're hitting here and uh, on the steering rack. On the top of the steering rack, we're hitting here, and then on the sway bar, we're hitting back here, just barely on both. So I figure a half inch on the sway bar and a half inch of uh, adjustment on the radiator here. See, it's bolted into this front clip. Is that what you call it on these old cars? I think so. Whatever, you know. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just relocate the holes. May have to do a little fabricating on these uh, humps here. Get rid of those so we can drill some holes and uh, move the radiator up. We should have plenty of clearance here to come up a half inch. And pretty, plenty of clearance everywhere pretty much. We spend a lot of time thinking about things around here. Seems like we ain't getting we nothing. Spent, no, seems like we ain't getting nothing done, but you gotta think about this stuff. Or it's gonna look like it did when it came yeah. in here. We had to notch the uh, where that nose piece bolts to the car because of the sway bar mounting. And this now, is just a rough notch too. I'm gonna right, clean that up. It's gonna look yeah. real nice. When I get that. But the issue we're having here is now the radiator, the outlet's hitting right here. So what uh, we're going to do, uh, the outlet's hitting here, the bottom of the radiator's hitting here. Yeah. So what we're going to do is where we mounted the sway bar, is we're going to put a half inch in there, drop that sway bar down. We can take up a half an inch here on the sway bar end links because they're adjustable, so it's not going to change that geometry at all, but it's going to allow us to get that radiator fit back in this car. We've been on the verge of finishing this car for Every time we touch it, we're like, okay, today's the day. Yeah. But they're just, you know, it's a big old Pontiac motor in a 1937 Chevrolet. So, you yeah, know, look at, the, I mean, look at the frame. Yeah. So, not no pickup truck, that's for sure. That's right. Sorry about that. That's okay. But, but Matt's going to take that radiator out, and like you said, there's a couple of pumps in the flange that holds that radiator in. We're going to flatten them out drill some new holes and we should we should clear everything on this car is going to be tight yeah first thing i'll do is uh, go ahead and get the radiator out of it just uh one thing holding it on on this old car is these four bolts pop it out then we'll go to work on these uh brackets and uh we'll see how it goes all right we'll trial see and error doing the brackets trial and error update Okay, well, we missed it because I was in the office, but Mike was just here. TNM steering columns. Had to replace a few things on the truck. Uh, there's a crush sleeve and a washer. As you can see, the crush sleeve was destroyed. This, I don't know if you can see, this, this is really supposed to be flat, and it's splined here in the center. And somebody had tried to put this on. You see there's a larger area between the two teeth right there. So it only goes on one way. Well, they had it on wrong. And then the bowl, this is your tilt bowl. Um, as you can see right here, there's a crack right there, and there's a crack right there. So it would just kind of wobble up and down. So he took care of that for us. Um, and put a new lock cylinder in it. Hang on, let me go around. The Too tall for me to get in. There you go. Nice and tight the way it's supposed to be. It doesn't wobble. I like it. Now I can drive my truck. Hey, we'll see you. Okay. So our radiator's hidden there at the bottom of the cross member like we showed you earlier. So we came up with a little solution here is to just move the radiator up a half inch and move the sway bar down a half inch. So that's what I'm working on now. So I gotta move these holes down a half inch and the problem is there's a big hump here. So you can't bolt it to a hump. So I'm gonna grind them out, which I've already done. Cut me some little filler pieces, which I've already done one side. I'm gonna weld these in and then measure, drill, 
measure drill. This is the only one we don't have to cut. We've got plenty of room here to play with. And um, I have to cut a piece here, cut a piece here. And then once we get that welded up, grind it down, and uh, looking good, we'll measure and drill. And then measure and drill. Let me show them where you put the sway bar down. Yeah. Business cup. Uh, I think J and M Manufacturing. So yeah, we put this half inch. I put this half inch plate in here. Yeah, we didn't do it. Uh, he did it. The neighbor hooked us up with this uh, half inch uh, stock here. He's a good guy. Uh, I don't know the name of his business, but he's got a little machine shop over there. He's a handy person to have next door, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. CNC machine, lathe meal so between anyway. the two things dropping this a half an inch and raising the radiator support a half an inch will get us a clearance we're looking for here for a radiator hose we initially thought that that was going to be our own problem our only problem but then quickly realized that it's it's also hitting the sway bar so a half an inch here and a half an inch on the radiator is going to give us an inch which we should just clear this, but we'll have plenty of room over here. Uh -huh. So, another little surprise on the 37, but it, when you're doing this stuff, I, I've told you time and time again, expect the unexpected, because it's coming. But I want it to be right, and I want it to be professional looking, and because it is. And professional. That's him, that's Matt. That's right. We caught the first two catfishes on the last night. Man. Tell them about the rain. It was wet. The rain usually is. Matt's not talky today. I'm not uh, I'm not the type to really give up that easy. Once it started raining, we were like, we're already wet. What's the worst can happen other than lightning? Right. We worked, it worked out pretty good. I did that riding motorcycles. I rode from here to Natchez, Mississippi in the That's pouring rain. Painful. And I'm like, oh, we're wet now. What do you want yeah. to do? Turn around? No, yeah. we're going to keep going. That's a hardcore Harley Davidson driver right That's there. That's right. Yeah. We're like five or four. He was the ones that rode in the wintertime. Yeah, I, I used to work with a guy that rode in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, He's hardcore. it's just stupid. Yeah. It, yeah, but it's just stupid. That's because he didn't have a car to drive. That's because he's making payments on his Harley. Yeah. Uh, Bobby's got the Mustang all taped up and ready for primer and paint booth. Unfortunately, we don't have enough hardener. I didn't realize that, so tomorrow we'll have some more hardware. Let me show you. It's all ready to go, all taped up. Got the bottom covered in the car because that's that's mainly what we're trying to protect is the bottom. So a couple of thousand dollars worth of tape and paper and we got it done. But We'll have this all in gray primer tomorrow as soon as Tasco brings it. And we could just uh, kind of we'll just set this car aside for a few days and let things harden up on it and move on to something else. So thank you for watching. Again. I think we got Bobby putting the, the shift box in the Chevy. Got some light under the dash so we can see what's going on. Get that done, get it out of here. I showed you before. That's our shift box right there, brand new. Well, not brand new, it's rebuilt. We get that on there so we can shift this truck normally, change the oil, call the owner, and tell him, come get it. So, that's it, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Hope you guys are having fun down there, Joe. Bobby's putting the shifter box in, like I told you. Getting it done, nuts and bolts. What's going on, man? Got the inside ready. Inside's all done? Well, it's going to be tightened up. I got to put screws for the top of the Yeah. The owner of this truck just uses it for photo shoots and they're just gonna 
kind of drive it to and from the photo shoots and that's about it they tried and tried and tried and tried to start it so they've washed the oil down so we're going to change the oil in it this thing has no oil filter like oh it does have a filter okay so our 54 corvette that we had here has no oil filter on a straight six which is kind of weird but older older stuff had it and newer stuff had it but for some reason that 54 didn't have it this truck needs some other work too it's uh doesn't quite sit right on the frame has literally no exhaust system on it but it's just a truck for photo ops This will be going. I showed you what Matt's got going on with the radiator on the 37. That'll be going. Uh, Mustang's in getting primer. I'm going to have my lift open so I can get some cars in here and do an inspections and estimates on them. And uh, we'll start to show you a little progress. Thanks for watching.